good day everyone and welcome back to one of the most important videos that i'm going to put forward now if you're watching my videos since day one i have been trying to lay out a path for you to get started in cybersecurity. and today's video is all about it where to get started now what i want you to do is click on join now fill in your username email and password and get started once you are going to sign in you are going to be presented with the screen like this since we are complete beginners we are not going to go into any of those advanced level courses we are going to learn the core skills required to start a career in cybersecurity. so we are going to learn web application security network security basic linux and scripting it's gonna take you more or less 64 hours but it is going to take more than 80 hours because you are going to figure out the answers and everything itself it consists of 31 rooms each and every room is kind of a gameplay where you are provided with a situation and you are going to perform certain operations to provide a solution to that problem so without further ado let's click right into it now this platform is not completely free but it is free up to the extent where you will be able to understand like 90 percent of the fundamentals itself so we are going to get started with learning cybersecurity. the first lesson that is going to give you a basic introduction to all of the things that's going on in here so you are provided with a situation over here and it says why understanding how the web works is important to attack web applications you need to understand how they work hacking website isn't some magical process but does come down to knowing how a part of the website functions and being able to identify weaknesses so in order to understand what you are going to do you need to focus on the scenarios itself and that's what ethical hacking and penetration testing is all about so on my left there is a paragraph that will tell you why things are important what are the scenarios on the right side you would be presented with an actual problem itself and so in this scenario we are presented with hacking a platform that's called bookface a social media platform so it says you're an ethical hacker and it's your job to test for security vulnerabilities on bookface let's look at taking over a user's account when we click next it tells us that users have public profiles if you notice the url which is right here it is showing a profile's username let's copy this and see if we can reset ben's password so i'm gonna copy this up move next paste it here and try to reset the password so it says we have sent you an email with a four digit code but we do not have that email what do we do let's try to go next there are 10,000 different combinations of codes that we can enter we could try increasing them one by one starting with 0001 and then 0002 and we can keep going on that will take forever try inputting any random reset code let's say i want to put it 6654 submit when you submitted a code in the form your web browser made a web request shown below to bookface with the relevant form data and what we see down here is completely bringing up our disappointment right because the code that we have submitted is not correct and most importantly we do not have access to the email address of this user so what we are going to do now so i'm going to go a bit down here and i'm going to see that we have posted a password reset request from our browser to bookface.com and our reset code was 6654 with the username ben.spring well let me click over here 
to see what's going on type of web request options can get get post delete that's what we have seen right here post and part of the web request that tells the web server we are using a google chrome that's what i said and telling the web server we want the website bookface.com the data we sending to the web server separated by this ampersand symbol or simply you can call it and but in a programming language it's called ampersand this is the code you enter 6654 and done so we are going to click on next and we are going to we're going to figure out what else we can do so it is not going to be possible to manually guess every code so let's repeat the code web request we sent earlier and each time increase the code value automating the process using request repeater below now if you look into Kali Linux and go to burp suite this is the work of burp suite but let's see how we are going to do it right here the process of trying different combinations until one is correct is called brute forcing a common attack in cybersecurity. use the brute force tool with a code minimum one and maximum ten thousand value so we're going to say one and maximum ten thousand so instead of providing us with a burp suite at this point they have built in web request repeater but if you're going to perform same operations same kind of operations in real life you would need burp suite to use the repeater or the request repeater to brute force these kind of entries now i was going to make a video about it i had a machine that i i did it probably i'm going to post it later So as you can see it's brute forcing every single code over here and i found out that the reset code was 0187 so let's try here 0187 and it says that 0187 is correct so when i click on reset password this was a real world attack that before it was passed let you take over anyone's instagram account now you can see this example was taken from Instagram itself. That was a problem. That was the vulnerability in Instagram itself. The hacker that found it reported it to Instagram and received $10,000 as a reward. It is important for you to understand how web applications work. Once you have a good understanding of the web, Try Hack Me will teach you about new cyber attacks and tools so you can follow these tutorials and once you are done you come back to your left side now some of these statements doesn't need any answer so you just need to click i have already done it here so it says question done what is the username of the book face account you will be taking over so i was supposed to go So I was supposed to provide this information as we were going, but anyways, I'm going to click submit. Ending with a curly bracket. So the password has been reset. The answer to try hack me task is THM brute forcing. So I am going to copy it up and paste it here. Now, if I wouldn't be explaining each and everything, it would just take me a few minutes to go through these, right? So that's why I want you to go through each and every of those exercises. These are not going to be so much difficult, but it is going to teach you something that you will never forget because these exercises are based on real life scenarios and you are going to find it completely useful. So now we are going to get started with our task number two. Click on view site. 
so why networking is important networking is really important to understand what's going on from scanning and identifying who and what's on the network to review the network logs and to monitor and track what users have been up to you will need to understand how networks work now in this guide you are going to get a few basic details of what it says right here so how target got hacked and had 110 million credit cards stolen based on this information your today's question is how much did the data breach cost the target if you are not sure about the answer you can always click hint and it's going to tell you that certain three digit million dollars right now we are going to see further information see the hack in action so the attacker occurred as the targets air conditioning units could be controlled remotely to monitor stores temperatures but were also connected to targets main store network so what they have done they have attacked a built-in computer within the air conditioning and access other machines within the store such as checkout tails which were also compromised via the aircon units to steal customers credit card information now the amount it cost target in data breach lawsuit were 300 million and that's your question right here how much did the data breach cost target so we are going to say 300 million probably that's going to be the answer click submit and yeah and then after you got the information you can google around a little bit and find out what was the exact kind of exploit what they have done moving on to task number three above is a learning path roadmap the complete beginner's path will teach you the computing basics and introduce you to some security techniques now by the looks of this picture starting with complete beginner you can either move towards offensive pen testing or you can suit yourself within cyber defense and once again if you happen to watch my previous video I have explained what red teams and blue teams do anyhow the statement it says read the above and we are completely familiar with this terminology so we are going to click complete it and we are done with this room so now we are going to exit this utility over here and we are going to click learn getting into our complete beginning complete beginner room and finding out that we have completed cybersecurity introduction so what i want you to do is go through these tutorials one by one at your ease but as fast as you complete these the faster you are going to learn next up we will be having linux fundamentals part one part two and part three network fundamentals web hacking fundamentals cryptography windows fundamentals shell now shell and privilege escalations are not going to be available over here but you can go through my videos and watch the video where i hacked into sql server and performed a privilege escalation for windows server itself now my work here is done what i want you to do is go through each and every of those rooms progress through them and learn something new if you want to visit the videos that i have created earlier after going through these fundamentals you will be perfectly able to understand most of the things but there's always a learning path ahead of us so always stay curious and keep learning goodbye